Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another series session of Moldex 3D's webinar series. My name is Rikar Baluri, and I'll be your host today. Today, we're going to be talking about using potting and encapsulation simulation to evaluate EV battery production. Now, uh, as everybody knows, there has been quite a big amount of interest on two levels here. One is with uh, battery components uh, for uh, EVs and AV uh, electric and autonomous vehicles. But then also, the focus on semiconductor industry has uh, uh, been quite big, uh, especially with uh, recent government policy changes. A lot of companies have been looking to bring back uh, semiconductor manufacturing and or, uh, well, design was always here, but uh, uh, more about, uh, more focus is being placed on bringing back the capability to uh, build semiconductors within the uh, North American continent. And that has put a lot of onus on uh, design teams, packaging teams, to evaluate their designs uh, more in, an, in a more optimized approach. So today we'll be looking at how can simulation really help with uh, uh, particularly for EV battery components, but broadly, more broadly for uh, semiconductor uh, components as such. Uh, where is simulation technology at and how does it help? So the evolution of uh, IC technology, this is something I always refer to, is a very fascinating trend. Um, what, when it started way back in the day to where it is now, uh, one of the trends you'll observe and you'll probably have already noticed is uh, how much reduction in sizes there has been. Everything is getting smaller. Uh, chips are getting smaller. The applications are getting more complicated. So as your transistor size, as the chip components, it gets smaller and smaller in size, uh, you now are uh, uh, looking at exceeding or expanding beyond Moore's law and looking at uh, in increased, improved functionality of the product. So what that means then is people are constantly looking at improving the chip design in order to have an optimum utilization of your board space. Uh, you're, of course, looking at reduced costs, and there is always a never-ending uh, never trend to improve performance, uh, go faster, go more efficient. 